Hello guys, welcome back to yet another episode of Mototech Wanderer. By the way, if you have not noticed, I have renamed my channel to Mototech Wanderers from Yamaha Fesa version 2 because I wanted to cater to everybody, everyone who wants to work on their machines irrespective of the brand and the name of their bike. So let's get started. What we are doing today is uh, learn how to replace the brake pads of a bike. Uh, for this instance, I'm using my phaser. Uh, it's mostly the same for majority of the bikes. So let's get started. So guys, this part uh, is called a caliper. And the caliper is mounted onto the fork through two bolts that you see here and here and the pipeline goes through a particular holder which is mounted through this bolt so total three bolts and to remove them we would need spanners number is 12 and 13 and one is uh, 10 and 11 let's first remove this bolt the bolt that holds the pipeline by the way this is called a brake hose and uh, this is the pipe that basically holds the brake fluid and basically let it flow into the caliper from the master cylinder that's on the top. Next we remove these bolts. So the caliper is off and if you can notice the brake pads are almost gone and we'll be replacing them. The pin goes out like this. So the next thing we do is uh, push back the cylinders, this and this. Alright guys, so both the cylinders are in now. Now we can replace the brake pads. Well, that shows the difference of the old one and the new one. So I put back the brake pads into place. To maintain the gap, I've put the screwdriver here. Now I'll put back the pin into place. So this pin will go this way. Alright guys, so it's time to put back the caliper into place.
so the caliper is in place I'll just put back the mounting bolt so we'll just tighten up the bolts quickly okay so I missed out on this so never forget to fix this yes. that is required so I'll just I'll just pump the brake that looks good we'll take a short spin and check if it's working fine Alright guys, so I've taken test ride and everything looks fine. Uh, one point that you have to know here is the brakes are not going to perform its best after you install them. It needs some amount of braking in which will happen over the period of next few hundred kilometers. Please be patient while the brakes actually break in and makes a good contact with the disc. And there's one thing that you have to notice and that is the freeness of the front wheel. So the front wheel should uh, rotate freely. I'll just demo it here. So there you see the front wheel is moving freely. Well, a little bit of contact is there but that also gets uh, eradicated with use. So that will go off with time. If it doesn't go off then you have to push back the cylinders once again and reset the brakes. Just the way we did it while installing the brake pads and try it again. So do not panic. Uh, we can just redo the thing once again if it doesn't happen for your case but generally it works fine so that's about it guys i hope you liked the video i hope you learned something new uh, do like the video do share with your friends and if there is any question that you want to ask me shoot down a comment and i would really love to answer them and guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're visiting for the first time thank you guys for watching see you next time bye